Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com Bringing you another classic pattern today. This one's a Hair's Ear Nymph. Uh, I had the Hair's Ear Wet Fly out there, but I never had the Nymph for some reason. I don't know why. But um, this is one of the classic, probably the first Nymph I ever learned to tie, I would guess. And uh, it is for a lot of people. And it's very easy because it's pretty much, well, two material, three. So... It's just a hair's mask. This is an old one that I had for years and years that I'm still using. And, um, you know, there's great hair's mask out there now. But it's an easy fly to tie. You're going to enjoy it. And it's going to make a buggy looking fly. Um, tie it with weight. Tie it without weight. Tie it with a bead. However you like to fish it. Whatever you like to do there. Um, I'm trying to tie a little bit more classic style here. And uh, so I'm not going to go with a bead in some of my videos coming up, and I'm not going to do it in this one. I'm a Euro nympher, and, you know, everything's tungsten and get it down fast. Well, I'm going to try doing some old school stuff for you guys so it's not all repetitive. You know, same Pertagon, four different colors or whatever. And I uh, hope you like it, guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot more classic style patterns like this one coming up. But until then, here you go, let's get into tying this one. You're going to see a picture of it and the material list to tie it. Alright guys, here we see the fly and the vise. Let's get into tying it. Um, just the standard old gold ribbed hairs ear nymph and um, really old as old can be I guess as far as it goes for fly tying. So let's get into tying it to put the hook in the vise. The hook I'm using is a fire hole 618 and this is a size 14 that I'm tying on. Tie it smaller, tie it larger, whatever you like. And um, you could start out, you could put some lead on this if you want. And we'll do it. We'll put a couple wraps of lead. So let's put about 10 wraps of lead on here. Okay. And you can do this with a bead if you want to. I'm going to use lead. And we're just going to get that in position. And I want it to be about an eye length behind the eye where I stop. And then we're going to lock it down. What it's going to end up being is the thorax area. So you're giving a little bit of weight to the thorax. Just cut this tag off. Alright, for thread, what the thread I am using is 140 denier, or sorry, 70 denier brown. And um, the next thing we're going to use is a hair's mask. And this is just an old rabbit that I shot years ago and preserved myself. We carry them out the shop and it's a lot simpler to buy than to take care of messing around with all this. Um, some guys will ask, uh, I did taxidermy for years, um, soak it in a borax solution, that'll help kill the bugs and stuff, and then you can stretch it. I stretched this one out on a board, pinned it down, and then salted it and let it dry. So that's how I did it to preserve it, but borax will bug proof it. Anyhow, what I'm gonna do is to make the tail, I'm going to find some larger guard hairs. Usually I'm picking from up here in the cheek area. And I'm just going to pull a clump of them out. Oops. Actually, I'm going to cut a chunk out. We're going to try to cut a chunk out of the guard hairs there in the cheek. And here you'll see I got a big clump of them, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the tips of them. And just pinch the tips. And you see all that under fur in there? I'm going to pull all that under fur out so just the tips are left. But I'm not going to get rid of this, I'm going to set it aside. Now we're going to take these tips and you see now i got a nice buggy tail here. So we're going to set that on top and we're just going to tie it into place here. And there's our nice buggy tail for the hairs here. Now we can tie that all the way down. Then our next thing we're going to do is put a piece of gold wire on it. This is size brassy. And I'm just going to tie this in on the side. Ok, 
Okay, now this whole fly is tied with the hare's mask other than one piece of wire and a piece of turkey tail. Now, I'm just going to grab some more hide off the fur here, or sorry, some more fur off the hide. And I'm going to try to get some guard hairs plucked out with this more than anything. And then I'm going to take those guard hairs and I'm going to take the fluff that I pulled out and I'm going to mix the two of them together. And what it's going to do, it's going to give me a nice dubbing, nice buggy dubbing mix. Getting those guard hairs mixed in there. And uh, just mix them around in your fingers. And then we're going to dub some of this on, on my thread here. So, just dub a little bit. It doesn't take much for the, th the abdomen part here. You don't want to overpower this part. And then we're going to go up there, wrap it up to where that lead was. You want every bit of a half, at least halfway. Maybe a little bit further than halfway. Then we're going to put our rib on. Alright, and we'll tie that off. Now, I don't want my legs back here on this end, okay? So some of these guard hairs, I'm just going to trim them off. I don't want real long, so I don't want it to look leggy back here. I'm not going to trim it super tight. I want it still to be buggy, but not leggy looking. Now, next thing I'm going to do is take a turkey tail. And I'm going to cut a side off the turkey tail. I'm going to cut about six or seven fibers off. Okay, it's going to be maybe a quarter of an inch wide, maybe. And then I'm going to cut the tips back just a hair. And this is going to be the wing case. So I'm going to set it a little bit on the side. So when it ties down, it ties down right on top. So it wraps around the side there. It wraps over the top, I should say. Now, I'm going to take the rest of this really buggy dubbing that I had down here. And I'm going to use it up. So we're going to put this on here. And we're just going to dub it in. And wind it forward. I'm just going to get this nice and covered. Now this one, you're going to be thicker up here on, on this end, okay? And then once I get it up to the eye, I'm going to stop at the eye here. I'm going to pull my wing case over. Make sure it stays on top there. And then I like to make a couple wraps on there. And then I like to pull my wing case back over. Rather than cutting it and having that turkey tail stick out over my eye. I like to wrap back over it. It makes it a little bit stronger also. And then I'm going to pull all those fibers back if there's any sticking out there and do a wet finish. I'm going to put two on here because it's 70 denier. Okay. You see I got a nice little head there, not a, didn't overdo my head size. And then I'm going to take a dubbing brush and I'm just going to hit it lightly, pull some of them guard hairs out, and there you got your legs on the fly there. You can see just how buggy that comes out and it looks real nice and leggy looking. So there it is, there's your gold ribbed hairs here in the Okay guys, I hope you like that. Like I said, it's an old pattern, it's easy to tie, it just takes some practice. And it's cool that you can do it all off of, you know, just one hair's mask and a piece of turkey tail. Which, hey, you, you hunt for both of them, so that's part of the fun in getting it, you know. You can use the natural, like, you know, I probably actually, well, no, I don't think I killed that turkey, but I know I killed that rabbit. So, anyhow guys, have fun, that's what it's all about. Um, Use the materials that you have and just have fun tying. Until next week, guys, I'm um, gonna bring keep coming with these uh, classic style street or er, classic style patterns for a while, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. One of the things that I've learned from the video where I asked you guys what you like to tie the most or what you like to fish the most, a 
ton of you like the old classics. So I'm going to take care of that for you guys and try bringing you some of them. So, until next week, go to the website, wholesingersflyshop.com, or look down in the description down below to find the links to buy these materials if you need them. And until then, I'm Sean Holsinger.